What's up, guys? Um, I got a classic video coming out for for you guys today, and um, well, right now, just here in front of me, behind this tree, we have a non-typical white tail. He's actually not that big, unfortunately, but I'm definitely glad I went after this guy, even though he has a low weight. He's actually pretty cool looking. I don't know if I've killed one that looks quite like this, but I'm gonna probably just shoot him there so we can get a good screenshot of him he's not if i if he comes up here it's gonna suck so i have to shoot it there we go yeah i didn't want him to come up here in this shade uh shady area where this doe is i actually completely forgot she was even here <laughs> completely forgot i even shot this doe so um but yeah i figured uh i'd bring along the uh 0.30 r over under rifle it's actually a really good rifle um it's really powerful and it's really accurate but um yeah let's go ahead and get a screenshot of this guy after we see his score here <laughs> 100.4727 all righty we got our screenshot of our non-tip here so let her do pretty good for now uh, i'm not going to attack this guy because he's actually pretty small, but, um, so let's see if we can go find anything else. I actually shot that right here, and I haven't even hunted a lot of the map, so there's going to be anything here left for me to shoot, so. So, I just got back on to another whitetail buck track, and apparently right here where I shot this non-tip, there was another buck. I didn't even know he was here, so... I'll get back with you guys once I catch up to this thing. Okay, so I have no idea where that white tail went for now. I've probably scared him somewhere random whenever I shot my gun earlier, but now we have this really small moose here. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I want to shoot this thing. You know what? Actually, I want to see how well the nine point or the not nine point three, the point thirty R works on a moose. And I'm not going to shoot it in the heart because I want to see what the lung shot is like. Oh, it actually drops him. I did not know that. <laughs> That's pretty insane because I don't even know if the, the um, three, uh, what's that one, the Weatherby, uh, whatever the Weatherby uh, weapon is. <laughs> I don't even think it drops the uh, moose in their tracks. I mean... I'll check and see if I didn't just hit spine or something, or maybe I got heart. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was just double lung. That's actually pretty insane. I got, I got a moose that's trying to attack me here, I think, so. <laughs> I know that uh, recording was kind of sudden, but I turned and this thing was just about to charge me, so. Um, and also just scared a really big buck, at least I think I did. It looked like it had a big set of horns, so I need to go track that thing right after I pick this little moose up. Unfortunately, it is pretty small, so... Um, honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this, like, circular wrap. Oh, circular wrap? Circular rack, so... I think I've killed a rare with that uh, horn shape before, but I don't remember, but... Let's go chase after this big buck that we just scared. So, I got us track, and I'm, <laughs> I am pretty sure that this is the same buck that we scared down there by our tiny non-typical. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was pretty sure that I scared it with my rifle down there, and I actually turned out to be right on that. So, it might be kind of difficult to try to figure out what this guy is. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications and hit the thumbs up so that way we can get this video out there, or actually any of my videos on my channel out there. Uh, we're at like 112 subs right now, which is actually not that bad. I think we're actually doing pretty good. Oh, what the heck? He's actually right there. <laughs> I did not even see him. So, okay, he's actually not that big. But I wasn't sure because I just saw a bunch of tines in one spot whenever he took off. So I'll shoot him with the bow. If I can get him to come in here. 
I mean, I don't know if he's going to do that for us or not. I can't tell if he's still scared. I need to look and see if he's waving his tail up some here and there. I think he's actually... Uh, he seems a little bit nervous, so I'll wait till he comes down and then try to get him in here. Okay, this deer is actually taking forever, so I'm just going to shoot this thing. Get him on the ground and go check out some more uh, areas up north. If I don't see anything, I'm probably just going to fast travel back down to this outpost and go that way, so... This depends on how much time we have tonight, so... Um, let's see what those high rack scores. I actually really like the look on this rack here. And he scores right on 150, actually. I didn't think it would be that high. Okay, so I just fast traveled to is this um, tree stand that I've got right here. And I've actually got a pretty good buck coming in right here. Oh. Oh, that's actually a really nice buck right here. And, uh, we're going to take this guy with the bow right now, actually. <sighs> that's pretty insane. Uh, I need to get an arrow in here, since that was my uh, last one for that. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> might as well go ahead and just get out and get a screenshot of him. I'm not really worried about that doe. I wish his estimate was just a little bit higher. I would have loved to get one that had a potential to be a 200. But hopefully he doesn't have any kickers or anything. And um, it's a, he's only 85 kgs, so that's a 180. That's pretty nice. All right, here's the screenshot that I'm going to go for. I had kind of an issue with the other poses with the uh, ground leveling and stuff, so I can go with this. I had to turn around and also uh, shoot this doe that was coming in. Uh, yeah, at seven meters. I didn't want it to uh, scare anything else in the area, but I guess we'll see what else is over here. If not, we'll go over to the beginning outpost again. Okay, that has got to be the tiniest buck that I have ever seen in this game. 25 to 45 score. That is, uh, <laughs> that's definitely something. Like, I've seriously never seen one that just had little tiny bullhorns like that. They at least had, like, a couple times or something. Um, I guess we'll shoot him when he comes in here. Okay, this buck here is finally coming into shooting range, so... Whenever he stops, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him. I might end up shooting him while he's walking if he doesn't. Alrighty. So, that little buck is down. I don't know if anything else is coming in, but let's see what this little thing scores. I'm actually pretty curious. Uh, I don't know what the lowest possible score is. This thing's only, uh, only not even 60 kgs. Right on 35. Only uh, only six GMs from that. That's I got a syringe on it. I mean, that is the smallest buck that I have ever seen in this game. Um, I mean, I almost even want to tax it or throw it in somewhere. That's actually, honestly, probably pretty rare, if I'd imagine. So, <laughs> I wonder if I can even hold the antler with this pose. Uh, I'm trying to get it to where it doesn't clip, clip my fingers off there. Maybe if, yeah, that's not going to work, so I'll just go with the... Uh, this one again, but that is the smallest buck I've ever seen in this game. So, just a minute ago, I got out of the tree stand and I started to walk up here. I got to about right here and I heard another buck call, and this time it was behind me. So, I just got back in the tree stand, and there's another really good buck here, um, another 175 to 200. Hopefully, this one is even bigger than the last one. So, I mean, honestly, I don't know what it is with this map, but you've already shot one non-typical, and uh, well, we've actually got 
another deer coming in behind this buck, but I can't see it because of the tree. I think it's just a doe, but this guy is actually um, pretty big. Hopefully this guy comes in and I can get the deer in the back, whatever it is. I think it's actually a buck. No, never mind. It's a doe. Man, this deer is starting to get a really close, so I'm going to have to shoot straight down on him. That's the only thing bad about this spot is, like, if they come in behind you at this spot, it can be kind of difficult. Um, that's a doe, so I'm actually not sure if I want to worry about her or not. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll shoot her whenever she comes in. Okay, I finally got this doe to come in, so I can, I can shoot it now. And she's down, so... I'm going to go ahead and get out of the tree stand, because I don't see anything else coming in. And I want to pick this monster whitetail up. Uh, he's 96 kgs, so he could have scored really high, actually. Um, oh, he's 178. I was hoping he would actually be more like a 190 or something, but that's, uh, that's good enough. Alright, I finally got him into a good position here, so... I'm going to go ahead and keep that screenshot, and I need to get back in the tree stand because I just had another buck call, like, two seconds ago. So, uh, I don't even know where that buck call came from because I was busy trying to position that deer, but let's see if he's a big buck or not. Okay, this buck that we've got right here is really not even worth shooting or even worth trying to record a shoot, so... I'm honestly just going to go ahead and move back over here and see if we can find anything on the other side here. And I went ahead and went prone in case there was something right here, but it looks like there wasn't, so. Okay, I'm pretty much only getting doe calls over here, and I don't have any more time tonight to really do any more recording or anything. I've got some stuff i got to get done tomorrow including some editing and stuff so make sure to click sub click subscribe and turn on notifications and like the video and I'll see you guys later